Good afternoon, everybody. So recently, I've gained a lot of new subscribers. Hello, all of you. I guess most of you came from What Living in Korea Taught Me, that video. I'm glad that you guys liked it and decided to subscribe. And I hope you stick around and I would love to hear from you. I'll be about 24 by the time you guys see this. So 24,000 subscribers. I'm so excited, I'm almost at 25. That's like half of 50. <laughs> I know my maths is so amazing. Oh wow, I can divide. I thought it'd be really nice if I got to, if you guys got to know me a bit better. I am going to be doing the TMI tag. The reason I got this idea is because that Asian Jay, I don't know if you guys know Jay, I'll put him in the link below. Go subscribe to him, he's cool. But he just recently did it and I was like, oh, I'm gonna do this tag. So I decided to do it. I am wearing um, a red dress that I got from H&M, I think. Yeah, I love it. It's a skater dress. I'll show you what it looks like. My um, awesome it's really flowy. Yes, I have been in love a couple of times and shit hurts and I generally am not a fan of it. However, there comes a time when it's like, you gotta suck it up and realize that the good does outweigh the bad in most situations. <laughs> And it's okay to be in love. Yes, I've had a couple of bad breakups. I don't want to ever do that again. Not fun. Definitely don't recommend it. If you can part on good terms, that would be great because it really sucks to do otherwise. I am five foot five. In reality, to tell you guys a secret, I'm actually four foot. No, that's not right. <laughs> Four foot, uh, no, that's not quite right, Abs. Um, five foot three, freak, five foot and freak. What the heck? What? Five foot four and three quarters. Oh, why couldn't I say that? My dad measured me and it turns out I'm not quite five foot five. But we round that up because no one wants to tell anyone that five foot four and three quarters. So yeah, I'm five foot five. Do you not know that's a rude question to ask a woman? <laughs> I weigh currently about 62 kgs. Yeah, I had lost a lot of weight when I got sick and then I started making dinner for my boyfriend all the time and I put the weight back on. No, my parents would kill me. You don't even know about African parents. Like, ah. If I ever got a tattoo, I would never tell my parents and I would never tell you guys because then my parents would know. Yeah, just kidding. Haha, <laughs> mom, dad, I'm not gonna get a tattoo. <laughs> I have six piercings. Um, this one, first ones obviously were my first two. And then I have these two I got as a teenager, like 15 years old. And then I got this one in Korea um, my first year. And I got this one in Korea my third year maybe. So yeah, I have six piercings. Something pairing. <laughs> the only cartoon I'm watching is The Legend of Korra. And there's no characters in any of my other shows that I want to get together. But um, Legend of Korra, I don't want Korra to date anyone, number one. And obviously Kai and what's her, what's her face are really cute. So I'm high for season four. I'm like episode, and no, actually I'm at episode six. So yeah, no spoiler alerts. Thanks. If you watch Legend of Korra, woo! Dang, this is hard. I used to love Paramore. Can I say Vance Joy is a band? He's not a band. Ooh, currently I like Years and Years. I love Years and Years. Like I was addicted to Desire and the main character's kind of cute. It looks like it's snowing outside, but I think it's flies and dandelion. I like Maroon 5. I'm not really a band person, but my favorite artists, if you're interested, are Bunch Joy, Janae Aiko, and Eminem. A lot. <laughs> I like a lot of music. Korea. And my friends. I miss my friends a lot. It was Elastic Heart uh, last week, but this week it's um, Breathe Me, Breathe Me by Sia. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure those two are my favorite songs currently. I love Free Me. It's so sad, but whatever. I don't care. I'm gonna be emo if I can. I can be emo if I want to. Oh yeah, my hair's different. I forgot to address that. Yeah, um, I cut my hair about a month ago. I decided to go natural last year. Actually, today is the anniversary of the day that I last relaxed my hair. So it's one year being like natural growth and it's been a month since my big chop. Crazy, huh? What do you think, what do you think? I just decided to wear it out because I was kind of getting fed up with twists and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna rock it for like a few weeks if I get bored and then I'll just put like braids in. But for now, I'm just happy with my hair. I kind of like enjoying it. I am 24 years old and I'm gonna be 25 in May. My zodiac sign is a Gemini. I love being a Gemini. I think it suits me very well. I'm very Gemini-ish. You have to have a sense of humor. You have to be at least a little bit outgoing, like you can hold a conversation. Some similar interests as me, reading, light watching, movies, going out and drinking. <laughs> Able to drink, that's a good one to have. You never know when it might be useful. Just cool, down to earth, funny and caring and sensitive, but yeah, manly. I have a couple. Not all who wonder are lost. I think that's how it goes. 
That's one of my favorite quotes. It's on the back of my business cards. And eat, drink, be merry, for tomorrow you die. I love that one, because it's kind of like Carpe Diem. Will Smith, all day, every day, that's not even hard. He's been my inspiration since a long time. Since I was really young, I just love Will Smith. He's amazing, um, he's a great actor. Can you guess, can you guess, red? I like loud music, I like music blasting in my ears. I don't really have anywhere I can go right now because I live in the outskirts of Vancouver and I don't drive, so. If I could, I would go like into the forest, like into the woods, like somewhere with a waterfall, somewhere where there's some water running. And in the UK, if I'm sad, I usually go to, to the water. Like the, the place I would go is, is generally near the Thames. These days, about 10 minutes, if I'm not doing anything but cleaning my body, but if I'm like, I don't know, shaving my legs or washing my hair, could take anywhere to like half an hour to longer. If I'm not putting on makeup, 20 minutes. If I'm putting on makeup, 30 to 40. I'd say. I've been in a physical fight twice. Okay, so the first time, guys, oh my gosh, there was this boy in my school. Everyone had a big crush on him. Me and my other friend, that we, I used to hang out a lot. We kind of like, he was like cute. He was cute, he was really tall, and he was good looking, generally. One day we were going down the stairs at school, and he had all the balls for the um, the ball monitor thing. And I think he wouldn't give us a ball or something, or I had the balls and he took one from me, I can't remember. So anyways, I went out of the out of the um, school and into the playground and he was there. And I was like, duh! And I literally punched him in the face, or I slapped him, I, I can't remember. At lunchtime, he was like crying inside the classroom, like in the um, cafeteria. He was crying, because I guess he got in trouble by the principal, by our head teacher, right? Um, I got in, I don't know, I didn't really get in any trouble. I got in some trouble. But I think he'd started it. I can't remember. I felt really bad when I saw him crying. I was like, oh shit, I made him cry. Then I got into a fight with one of my friends and a bunch of people, like they wanted us to fight. So we fought and they were just jumped in and it was horrible. And those people suck. Hmm. Oh, a man in a suit. Thank goodness my man wears a suit like five days a week. <laughs> fresh cuts, oh, oh. Fresh cuts are always nice. Fresh cuts and fresh clothes. And hats, I kinda like baseball hats, especially when they're worn well, like in an outfit. I'm just like obsessed. Can make me laugh. Arrogance. Arrogance with no backing, <laughs> let's be specific. You've been arrogant, but you, you have no right to be. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just, I hate arrogant guys. People who are just, in general, who are just not good people. You know when you meet someone, you're just like, really, not even good, just, just not a stand-up person, like, nah. <laughs> That's a big turn off. The reason I joined YouTube is because I was moving to Korea and I, I was lonely and I thought I was gonna have no friends. And it was to document my journey as well because I thought that was pretty important to do. To never be enough. <laughs> this sounds a lot like Jay's. Okay, this one fear, I was telling Jay, I was like, Jay, I've got the same fear as you. My fear is to never um, achieve anything I wanna achieve, to never make a mark in this world. I wanna leave something behind, I was like, I thought about it so many times, I was like, if I die, what would I have to leave behind? I was like, I have got a collection of lots of poetry that I wanted to publish. Um, I have a half finished book and then I have a book I just started writing. So I'm like, I don't really have, I don't know. I wanna be, I wanna complete those things and I wanna do them and I wanna, I wanna make a difference. At least in like my children's life, at least when I have them, you know? So yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna reach my potential and I don't wanna flow into a state where I don't have the drive to reach it. <laughs> Emotional times. <laughs> I was sad because uh, my boyfriend went away for a week and I got upset <laughs> after we had a conversation on the phone. <laughs> Yesterday on Kakao. Let's start with my YouTube URLR. So it's delightful123. So uh, you guys, it's funny how I got this URLR and I wish I never had it. But um, I was really obsessed with like, you know, sassy girl and my sassy girl. Delightful girl, Yoon Chang. Right, so I was obsessed with that. I just stole like sassy and delightful and I made them like my usernames in some things and uh, for some reason I never I never assumed I'd make YouTube videos so I made it delightful and I was like oh delightful is taken so I was like oh delightful one two three that makes sense I decided to do that and I was like oh damn I wish I'd never done it but at least it has a meaning behind it now smiling so obviously if you can't tell already I smile a hell of a lot more than normal people <laughs> So yeah, smiling and Seoul because I lived in Seoul and I love Seoul and it's like one of my one of my um, temporary homes, you know. The last book I read was The Secret Daughter by she'll be I can't remember her name. That was a really great book. Um, cool, sad, and yeah, awesome. The book I'm currently reading is by Mindy Kaling is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me. Yeah. So Ooh. that's about her life and it's kind of a memoir sort of thing. It's pretty cool. I mean, I like it. It has references of like the 80s and I don't really understand them, but 
ha, it's still kind of interesting for the stuff I do get. And the other book I'm currently reading is Tiny Beautiful Things, Advice on Love and Life from Dear Sugar by Cheryl Strayed. So she's the writer of Wild, if you know that. And I just, I was like, I really was looking for some like cool self-help books and interesting books to read. So I decided to read that book and it's really cool. It's just like agony aunt sort of thing. She's like a kind of secret agony aunt and it's just the things people asked her and her replies. And some of them are really interesting, crazy and funny. The Legend of Korra, cause I love it. And I'm trying to binge season four was probably my boyfriend's aunt and uncle. This is their house, they live upstairs and we live in an apartment suite and they happily let us live here. They came out and said hi, which is cool because I hadn't spoke to anyone for a couple of days. <laughs> we are boyfriend and girlfriend and we have a relatively good relationship. Currently Jamaican baggies because I miss them all the time and I have this box that I generally slowly eat and it's in the freezer. But my honest favorite foods from day to day. So I'm obsessed with eggs, if you didn't know this. I'm an egg lover, I love eggs. Uh, eggs are just amazing and I'm obsessed with them. <laughs> so yeah, I love having like fried egg and toast for breakfast because it just makes me happy. I love bread, I just, I love carbs, sadly. And we have this thing called coconut bread here and it's like a kind of carbless substitute and I love it. I just slice it up, toast it, add butter and it's amazing. So yeah, it's nice to have something else I can eat that won't make me fat. I wanna go to Bora Bora and have my honeymoon there, yeah. It's not gonna happen because it's really expensive. Unless we get rich, I wanna go to um, Bali. I wanna go back to Korea. I wanna go to Scotland. Um, I wanna go to some other parts of America. Seattle, I wanna go to Portland. I wanna go to Greece. So many places. I wanna do Europe. Last place I was, Fritikana. Oh, I have a crush. I got a crush. <laughs> Yes, I have a crush. <laughs> oh my gosh, his name is Wubin, and we're gonna get married and have beautiful little babies. Mm-hmm, uh-huh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Wubin. Call me. About five days ago, yeah, so last time I kissed someone. It was probably by my boyfriend. He jokingly likes to insult me all the time, just like I jokingly like to insult him. So yeah, probably my boyfriend was the last time I was insulted. I don't like sweets um, that much, but I like strawberries. Strawberries are really tasty. Lime sometimes, those are my favorite flavors. I wish to play the piano. I wish to play um, the guitar. <laughs> I do not play either of those and I play no other instrument. I'm so not musically talented. I wished I was, I really do. I want to be like a music prodigy. Prodigy, prodigy, whatever. <laughs> I want to be that. I have jewelry I really like. I love this turtle, which my boyfriend got me. I really like my uh, my hoop in this ear. Don't ask why, I just do. Jeez Louise, come on, is this a joke? I don't play sports very much anymore. Last sport I probably played in reality was, what's the frisbee sport? <laughs> With my boyfriend on the beach, does that count? I'm a tennis lover. I haven't watched any of the Australian Open. I'm just getting beyond the point where I can wait up till like 3am to watch tennis now. I really want to watch Nadal play and I know he's come back and he just lost so I don't have to watch the Australian Open anymore. <laughs> so I'm just gonna wait until the next um, tournament. What song was that? Hey Ma. It was just on right now. Hey Ma, what's up? Let's slide, all right. Cause we could get it on a night. I was playing eight tracks and it came on and I was so happy because I love that playlist. That playlist has the best throwback R&B and hip hop of all time. Okay, of my time. Really? I never even use chat lines. No, chat up lines are a no. See, I sadly have a boyfriend who enjoys chat up lines and thinks they're hilarious. And when I met him, I'm sure he used some terrible ones on me. I don't remember anything of when I met him. I've seen the damage chat up lines can do to one's mental stability. So I've never decided to use them. I'm just like, hi, what's up? What do you like doing? What's your name? How are you? Like, why are you here? <laughs> Things like that, you know. <laughs> if it's at a bar, I'm like, let's drink, let's do shots. Those are my sharp lines. I don't think girls generally need sharp lines. Yes, all the things I said I've definitely used and the ones that I just said that was terrible, no, never. I don't really use sharp lines. I'm, I've never really gone out to find guys. Yesterday when the family came down and they were like just chilling, like some of the kids were still were out of school. So we was like chilling and watching Frozen because I was like, okay, Natalie, you want to watch Frozen? Let's watch Frozen. <laughs> It just seemed like a great bonding experience and I love the kids, they're amazing. The cast cousins, they're so cute. Everyone and anyone who wants to, answer it. Answer it, Justin, I tag you. Justin, I choose you. <laughs> 
so yeah justin do the, do the tmi tag i hope you guys now know me a little bit better thanks for watching to the end and if you made it to the end thumbs up because you're a badass for getting this far and i will see you very soon hope you like the afro and <laughs> young i think that horse fly bit me <laughs> no it's a cheap horse fly bit me what the hell is that i love prince jackson i just kind of look at